How did the Philly mob set up a crew based in North Jersey? Yeah. I know they did. And did they have issues with New York families operating in North Jersey? I know part of why Tony Caponegro was killed, other than killing Bruno, was that was because he wanted to sit down against Bunsy Terry and Bobby Gamble interest to his prior. Yeah, the, the Philly had Philly crew had a uh, Philly had a crew in North Jersey. Yes. Right. Where were they at? Newark, everybody. Never an issue. Everybody was here. Well, there was like seven families in Newark. The five everybody was here except for the, the Cavalcante family. Really. Families. And maybe the Columbos were maybe the was a little bit, but everybody was here. Everybody got along. There was never beefs between the guys. Everybody really knew each other. So a lot of guys grew up together. These are guys that are older than me, grew up together, but ended up in different factions, different crews, different families. But everybody got along. Like I said, on Saturday night, everybody would be at the same club. Interesting. No now, issue. Now, when John, when, when John, uh, John Johnny Boy D'Amato was accused of being gay, I think it was by his girlfriend, yeah. um, ironically. Um, do you think there's any truth to that, or it might have been like a false wire? What years were they? Swinging years? Who knows what they did back then? They were freaking crazy. Good point. You know? Any information, and I don't know if you want to show this anyway, any information about murder Genevieve's acting capo, Larry Ritchie? It's just that he was, uh, that was a crazy day. I remember when it happened. Yeah. I remember when he disappeared. And then they found him behind the diner. I think they found him behind the diner. Was that the one, the guy? I think on I think in on Route 22, maybe they found Wait, him behind the diner. I was found in uh, the Huck Finn Diner in Union. Yeah, I think so. And then I remember he, that. And then DeGilio got killed. He was a big Genovese guy too. Yep. John, John DeGilio. Yeah. Yeah, they found like, one of them. I don't know. And I got. If somebody I know they him. found. I remember. I remember when Ricky disappeared, and then I remember when they found him in the trunk. I think it was in the trunk behind a diner, like a week I later. I think it was a Huck Finn Diner by me in Union, New Jersey. Yeah, insane, crazy. Uh, any boot versus longies info or guest to chat about that? I guess they think you're a hundred, but um, no, I didn't know either. They, I I just teed you up as a mob guy talking about history, so they didn't know the the time uh, the time of reference. But Longy was uh, Longy's Zwo woman. Yeah, yeah. I guess they did business together. The boot, his presence is still here. He's still here in some type of spirit. I'll yeah. tell you why. The church I go to, as soon as you walk in and you look to the right, the first stained glass window in St. Lucie's Church is from Mr. and Mrs. Fiardo. Wow. It's right there. So then I'll please. tell you what happened. What? Yeah, please. St. Lucie's Church. Uh, do you know of St. Lucie's Church? It's on 7th Avenue. It's in Newark. It's in the North Newark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the... That was the Italian epicenter, basically, a little Italy. Yeah. So Joe DiMaggio used to come there and, you know, all, all celebrities. So uh, the church ran short of funds when they were finishing up some work. It was like they were like a million short. They were trying to raise money, trying to raise money. An anonymous donor donated the last $1 million. They don't know if it's Richie the Boots family or Joe DiMaggio's family. Oh, shit. They That's finished it. the job and it looks beautiful. But they, it. Uh, it was in what do you call it? You know, um, you know, anonymous, anonymous donor. Interesting. All right. So, uh, did you know the legendary Ray Tango? The name ring a bell? Name does, but you know, before me. Yeah, I think it was like to get roll up in a wheelchair and never know no teeth and. But now we really shoot our shot, you know. Um, all right, so we went through. Um, somebody asked about the Buffalino family. Yeah, that was like Northeast Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah. I think it was guys in Jersey, right? No, well, no, well, no, no. Interesting. All right, so we're gonna do a few things. I'm gonna drop a link below. That's what I like about this. Obviously, got to know who you are. I can't have random in, random mm -hmm. in. But if you want to come in and join the stream, um, if any of the four horsemen you obviously invited or anybody else, feel free if you want to join in. Yeah, that was a Huck Finn Diner, the Huck Finn Diner on uh, Morris. Route 22, right? 
was it under 22? Right off, right off it. In, yeah. uh, in um, Morris, Morris Avenue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Marky, Marky Marciano supposedly used to go to the Rivera Club a lot in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Um, I'm sure a lot of the wise guys there. Well, let me ask you a question. If you stayed in a life, do you think you, you would have got, like, how long do you think it would have got, you know, not to get a crystal ball, but okay. to get proposed for your stripe? You think you were a few years away? It would have been a long haul? Could have been easier? Like, you know, if you had a crystal I, ball. I don't think it would have been a long haul at all. Somebody asked me yesterday, uh, Fatball Sicilian on the show, and not that I'm an expert in any way, but just doing what I do with a lot of interviews. Um, he goes, do you think it's easier to get made now than it was maybe 20 years ago? Uh, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. I don't know. It's hard to say. You know, I'm not involved in it now, so I don't know. Right now, it's a monetary thing, I'm assuming. Yeah. No Back point. then, it was a little different. No point. Back then, it was turning into a monetary thing also, though. Yeah. I think in the 90s, it started to turn into that, you know, you don't have to clip anybody type of shit. Because, you know, that listen, murder brings nothing but bad. If you stick to just gambling, maybe loan sharking or racketeering, this and that and the other thing, you can go a long way for a lot of years. The only thing is Rico. It hurts you. But for little pinches like gambling, this, that, the other thing, you know, three years, five years. And yeah. listen, I still say he's doing life on the installment plan. But, you know, you're not looking at 30, 40 years off the bat. Good point. Vinny Palermo, he was, um, although he was Jer Jersey. Um, that was a big shock. Yeah. Big shock. I remember when that happened. Uh, I was with some friends of his. I was in uh, Long Beach Island. I was with some friends of his. We were outside barbecuing, and they're like, Vinny Ocean went bad. Interesting. You know, when you just hear these names that go bad, and you're like, what the? How? What? How? How? Well, don't even, you can't even can't even comprehend it. Yeah, I was gonna say because you know he was um, alleged to be the inspiration for Tony Soprano, and although he was the Cavacante, he was in New York most of the time, right? Yes, Queen. Uh, Queens on the strip clubs. Yeah, I think Queens. Yeah, Eagles or whatever. Did you know Queens. Vincent Cazzarelli, Ross Rossmore Pharmacy in Belleville? Of course, of course, of course. They're still there. Cazzarelli's still here, and Rossmore's still here. Yeah. Ray Tango's in his 60s, not that old. But everybody knows Ray Tango drop a line. Um, everybody has a different stuff. Tommy's very honest. He's not one of those guys that claim to know somebody when he doesn't. No. Oh, that's it. Um, let me see. Queens Boulevard, yeah. Um, Wiggles, yeah, Wiggles, that's right. The ocean was Bobby the Seal's son law. Interesting. Uh, I, heard, I heard about Bobby Seal before. Um, most cars now monetary people for some reason that the mob is gone because there's no oh. anymore. Most are making it won't be gone. Why would it be gone? There's some money to be made on the street. Well, let, well, well, let, well let, let me ask you a question now that like it's a little less violent, right? Um, I'll keep that up in a second. A little less violent and a little less killing, and it's about money, so the bids theoretically shouldn't be as long. If the younger Tommy could have got into this mob, would it have been worth it for you or still not worth it? The old way. Yeah. I loved it. I loved the way it was. I went to the social club. I you know, I loved it. Yeah. I loved what it was. I was in harm's way many times. I could tell you, you know, okay, there was a bar in Belleville called uh, New Plus, right? Okay. I worked in my cousin's.